Yeah, I ain't gonna lie to you. Anyway, speaking about pushing peas, salute to my man Gunner. We also gonna talk about that nigga. Did y'all see that on a gram? That nigga Kodak, he pushing peas, but his peas stand for penis. Y'all see that nigga Kodak piping on that that chick at, at the fucking game? I ain't gonna lie to you, Kodak. When niggas told me he was he was fucking some chick at the Panthers game, I'm thinking, wait, the Carolina Panthers? I'm thinking football. Apparently, there's a hockey team called the Florida Panthers. Huh? I ain't know. I've never been to I've never been to a hockey game a day in my life, and I would have never thought about going to one. But after realizing that number one, box like those little box suites are probably cheap as fuck because nobody ain't going to them games. Number two, it's probably lit. I might go to one of them bitches. I ain't gonna lie to you. Yo, my first time in a box suite was recently when I went to um so remember when I did the whole thing with Rick Ross? He had box suites, or really the labels is paid for it, yo. Labels be wasting mad money, yo. You know how much box suites cost? Like, like, like those, like, t the tickets for a box suite? Or if you buy a box, right, like for, for like an NFL game? Now, I can't quote you on exactly how much, but from what I hear, at least 50 grand. Rick Ross has... I guess his label wanted to, you know, kind of bring press and people around. Because I ran to all type of motherfuckers there. Ran to Elliot Wilson. I think dude B-Dot was there. Who else? I met the, the lady from um, Ball Alert. All that type of There's a lot of people there. But here's the thing. Ross's label probably paid at least, I'm saying at least, $50,000 for the fucking box suite. Ross ain't even show up. That nigga ain't show up at all. Now let me tell you, the, let me let me give you a little box suite like experience and shit. I don't know if y'all know about this. Nigga, I go in there, bro. They got the, f bro. It got to be at least more than fifty k. I'm telling you this, cause they also tell me like, yo, yo, you, you have to have like a representative with a team to even get this. They don't give quotes out for this. Anyway, I'm explaining why I know it's fifty k. Number one, it's the best seat in the house. You would assume, and I heard somebody say this recently. Shoot to my man Andrew Schultz. You gonna get my podcast soon, but you'd assume that watching a football game, the best seats are the you know front row. Those are not the best seats because if you're front row at the thirty yard line, you can't see what's going on at the other thirty yard line. So it's not really the best seats in the house. The real best seats in the house is probably at the fifty yard line, but it's not the the the, the front row. I'm gonna tell you why. When you're front row, you're too close and the field is too big. Keep in mind, think about a basketball court and then think about a, a football field. Also, think about this. Basketball court, you can watch the whole thing on the thing over there. On a football field, they don't got no thing over there in the middle. You got to look all the way over the left where the scoreboard is to see the, the Titan tr trend or whatever it's called. So... The best seat happens to be where you can see everything with your own eyes on the level of where all the box suites are. You can see the whole, you can scan the whole field. They give you TVs in the fucking suite. And I go up in the suite, you know, they were trying to tell me, you know, obviously, remember that weekend I went to, to Miami? I wasn't like Fetty Gibbs. Like, I, I'm assuming that like, I knew everybody. Well, me and was me and me cool. I know Meek was definitely in town that, that the weekend. Was me and me cool? Probably. Anyway, I I go down there just like prepare for some shit. So I'm just with tons of people with me this time, terrible, right? They 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 offer me tickets to the game. I said, cool. I need four. I need ticket for me. This is a box suite tickets. I need a ticket for me. I need a ticket for my man's leaf, and I need two tickets to security. I don't give a fuck what I got going on in there. They try to convince me. They're like, no, no, no. Like, no, like this is like Ross's exclusive shit. Like, he got security, blah, blah. And I'm like, whole time I'm like this. Anyway, my man's did get in the game. Um, but um, when it came to the box, because they all walked me in, and it was just 
just meet the niggas. So whatever, whatever. They back out. Cool. So I'm there now, and um, I'm I'm in the box suite. Now I've been to a regular football game, but I gotta give y'all this rich nigga experience, dog. When you're in the box suite, and this is what I'm telling you, it costs fifty grand, because. Nigga, they got gourmet everything, nigga. They got everything in the fucking world you could think of. They got any liquor you could think of. It's like open bar. They got chicken wings. They got it's just all type of food. Chicken ring wings, Mexican food, this type of food, that type of food. Nigga, it's basically like a, it's like a resort in that bitch. I, I kid you not. I, again, I've been to a regular football game. The food you can't find when you go out to like the thing, you're like, oh, I want to, like, you can only get like a hot dog or a hamburger or something. Nigga, they had food up in that bitch that you like, what the fuck they even get this shit from? That's why it cost $50,000. Do you understand what I mean? No, no. <laughs> Somebody said, <laughs> bro, I'm giving y'all the understanding. Stop playing with me. So I don't fuck with y'all niggas, man. I'm going to be trying to. You know what? From now on, when I get these little good experiences, I'm not about to break this shit down to y'all, man. I'm going to just take an Instagram picture and flex on, on y'all niggas. I'm trying to tell y'all what I really saw. I go up in the bitch. Bro, they got like mad, like it's mad cozy. It, you can see the whole field. There's a glass thingy that, that separates you from the other booth at the end of it, actually. Not only you could be in the booth, like you could be like in a little lounge part. There's like three rows of seats that's only dedicated for you in case you wanted to go watch the game and sit down like a regular fan. It's only for you. And I was like, what the fuck? They got every food, every liquor. Like, it's, it's, it's really high quality shit. That's what I'm trying to tell you. It's $50,000. Which, by the way, I, I did look at it. I'm like, damn. So you tell me they're going to just add this $50,000 to Ross's budget? He never showed up? I'd be tight. But I'm not rich like Ross, so. Anyway, I really tell, told y'all all that to say. I'm guesstimating here. Let's say Ross's label paid sixty, seventy thousand to to get the box fee, right? Here's the thing. Or let's just say fifty thousand. That was for the NFL game. Now, do you know how much people watch? An NFL game compared to the NHL, nigga. The NHL, a box suite probably gonna be like I don't know, might be on a ten grand. Who knows? You know, nine thousand dollars. We cater food for you. We do whatever, whatever, whatever. We give you drinks. Just come in. They probably treat like a club. Kodak goes there. He with his chick, and Kodak watching this fucking boring ass NFL game. Like, this shit is fucking boring. Nigga, you can't even see the puck. You ever watch, you ever, you ever watch like, people play, like, NHL or, like, play hockey? The puck going this way, puck going that way. Puck, it's not even like football where, like, you get breaks. See, football is the best sport for people to chill out and watch. You ever went to a tailgate? Dog. They let you basically allow you to have conversation in between plays. Basketball too quick. By the time you try to talk to somebody, LeBron just blocked a shot and dunked over the other end. You missed the whole fucking play. With football, one thing happens in 15 seconds, then you wait like a minute for the next fucking play. You get what I mean? So it's mad chill. Hockey, it's just <laughs> I mean, you, it's whack. The fuck? So Kodak is there. Kodak got a chick with him. He's in this fucking box sweet shit. I'm telling you, I told you about the box. Probably ate some chicken wings. He's off the hand rock. <clears throat> he called me last night. I, I got to hit him back. Yak's my nigga. I ain't going to lie to you. Yak, no, I fuck with him heavy too. Hold on, let me see. I don't know why Kodak and Youngboy stay changing numbers. Them niggas just randomly hit me from a different number. 
I fuck with my nigga um, uh, um, Kodak. You know, I, I, I fuck with my nigga um, Young Boy. Anyway, he's in the fucking section. And I'm going to just keep it real with you. Only Kodak could do this. Like, even though, like, it, it, I, I'm trying to... Uh, ex, I, don't, I don't know if you guys have ever experienced a box suite. It's my first time. But, like, you kind of feel like you it's, it's a little bit private. Because it's not where the stands are. It's a little bit inside. And if people look real closely, they can see. But otherwise, it's not like you're just out there with it. Anyway, my nigga Yak just starts pushing P. Real talk. Pushing P. And when I mean P, penis. And, I, and I'm going to be honest with you. I ain't mad at him. Bitch, I don't pay 10 grand for this fucking box seat. I'm throwing some. I'm slaying some cock. I'm sorry. I can't even wait to the hotel. Fuck the hotel. This the hotel. I'm sorry. I understand. I'm just not as bold as Kodak Black. <laughs> Yo, I keep telling people, right? And this is a segment I'm working on for my podcast. So maybe I can help me out with my podcast, right? This is off the record. Make sure if you if you guys if you guys love me, if you guys love me, and all the ops and hate haters of me, you don't want them to win. Chat niggas, we can't lose. That's the, the goal. If you love me, you guys got to also support Off The Record. Y'all got to go to Spotify. Make sure you hit it with five stars. Just go listen to the episode, every one of them, just because. Helps me. Because they come back and say, damn, the chat niggas are really loyal. Well, they don't say niggas. They're like, the chat. And I'm like, yeah, I know. But anyway, um, I'm working on, like, this segment. I want to do, like, this cool segment. Here's a segment. The segment, um, I wrote it down. I had it before. And I'm kind of spoiling a little bit of the podcast, but I'm going to use group thing because you guys always help me out. What is it? Oh, it's the top 10. I was going to do top 10 wildest quotes in the last like 10, like in the last year. But I, I, I'm dedicating it to Kodak. And I'm dedicating to Kodak because I feel like there's certain artists like Kodak, Youngboy, and other people who could say shit that nobody else could could say and you know how people be like oh you know like for example with me i wouldn't say certain shit because i'm shit i'm pussy i'm scared of being canceled i love spotify i'm sorry i'm known to be canceled like that but kodak could just be like man i don't want no black bitch i'm black enough like you're like kodak can say that i can't say that shit <laughs> you feel me and by the way you know what i mean i don't feel like that so you know but still kodak just got some quotes like do you realize that when we fucking listen to that song Super Gremlin. That, yo, this is shit that, that that really... Yo, we're partying to this song. It's the hottest song in the country. Just made top 10. Congrats to, congrats to Kodak. Congrats to Kodak. And whenever he hits me back, I'm, you know, I'm going to FaceTime him and tell him congrats. I'm so, I'm so happy, you know, he got a top 10 song. But in the song, he says, I knew the perk was fake, but I still ate it because I'm a gremlin. Nigga, what? What the fuck? What in? Come the fuck on, like, yo, this is what I gotta do. That type of, I'm doing a list. The nigga said I knew the. Per so by the way, I've never taken perks or nothing like that. So I'm I'm only an alcohol drinker. You know what I mean? Call me a bitch, whatever you want to call it. But I'm I only ever drink alcohol. But I, th there's this girl who I was around recently. She's taking perks. So I'm listening to it. I'm like, damn, yo. I'm like, damn, Kodak. Yo, Kodak turn it up. So this chick starts to educate me about like fake perks and what it does. So like she got a little emotional. I didn't know. I'm sorry. I didn't know. I thought we were kumbaya and I'm sorry. She said her man's died from taking a fake perk. So I didn't know it was that serious. She's put me on game. She's like, yo, that's mad irresponsible. Cause in reality, there's mad people who died from promoting fake perks. So then I get to realize apparently like fake perks be having fentanyl, all that type of stuff. And I'm like, damn, yo, Kodak said it and he, he made it normalized and gangster. Like, I don't think nobody even really be, yo, you, you know, when certain artists say certain shit, everybody's like outraged. When Kodak just says shit nowadays, you're like, yo, it's yak. Like, I kid you not, if it was any other rapper, donkey fucking a chick in a box suite with people recorded. Dog, the chick is on all fours and he's 
donkey fucking her at a very public game. It might not be a full stadium, but it got to be at least twenty to 30,000 people in there. If it was anybody else, it would be like, what? But you know what happens? It's Kodak. When it's Kodak, it's like, bro, it's Kodak, bro. Like, let's be honest. Let's not, and I guess this is my point. And really, you know, shit, I feel like I'm giving away my podcast idea. But y'all got to give me the quotes. Y'all got to send me the quotes. This is how, like, if I'm giving y'all this shit, because this is how I do the podcast. So this is streams. This is so, you know, mentally, I got to separate all my content, right? Stream, I come on here. I get lit with my hand at? Shit at? I get lit. I tell y'all what's on my mind at the moment. Okay? For my podcast, I want to think of, dissect, and carefully put shit together that could be dope. You know what I mean? It's still my mind, but it's not like just a bunch of hot takes. Like, I want my podcast to set the discussion. Because these bitch-ass niggas who making these lists, they're followers. I really think, and I might be tooting maybe my horn and y'all horn, if I wasn't parading around and, and y'all wasn't like this YB better and YB fans wasn't going crazy, they wouldn't nominate a young nigga for, for Artist of the Year. They would nominate everybody else. But because all that happened, they nominated YB. But they forgot Smirk. They forgot other people. So, again, you know, I try to separate the content of if you catch me on stream, I might be wild and I'm just like, I'm spitballing, you know what I mean? Like, if I was a stand-up comedian, which, by the way, I'm going to keep it real with y'all. I told somebody recently. One day down the line, I hope to be able to have the courage to do stand-up com comedy or try it. But, you know, I'm a big fan of a lot of stand-up comedy um, comedians. And the way how they do their shit is, like, yo, they'll go to a bunch of, like, you know, like, local comedy, like, you know, um, spots, and they'll do their set or they'll work it out. They'll make shit up, the blah, blah. And whatever works, at the end of it, they'll be like, we're keeping this. We're not, we're throwing this away. And they do that for a while until they come up with 90 minutes set and they do a special. So this is what I'm trying to tell y'all. The stream is me just spitballing. I'm just over here. Like, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm giving y'all hot takes. My podcast, you know what I mean? Like, yo, Spotify held us down for that. So, you know what I mean? I'm trying to, come together with carefully thought out sh uh, shit it's kind of like you know everyday struggle except i i have the control i run the shit there ain't no nigga telling me when to when to do that when to blah blah i run the shit and i, and I love it so um yeah what i'm working on and i need y'all help and 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 you know i took my dms i have like about three to four kodak lyrics that are just wild one of them is Wait, did he say, I, I think he said it in the lyric. He said, yo, he said, I'm black, I'm black already. I don't need no black bitch. That shit was wild. That's a wild Kodak tweet or, or lyric, lyric. It's all about lyrics. I know he has tweets too, but just lyrics. This, I knew the perk was fake, but I still ate because I'm a gremlin. Yo, that shit is so fucking wild. Give me some. Give me some motherfucking. Somebody said the podcast is edited. edited to, no, it's a produced Twitch stream. Like, like, yo, y'all seen today's episode, which was really yesterday's episode. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, we went over some shit, you know what I mean? Like, yo, this is where I really need y'all. So, on my solo episodes, and I'm going to put a poll on maybe the next solo episode post. Um... Because I could do polls on Spotify. If it's just me, do y'all do y'all care if I'm in studio, like I'm at the studio, whatever, whatever, or do y'all like it when I'm pretty much almost like interactive like this on a stream setting where I'm like pulling up stuff? Like, uh, if you didn't watch today's episode of uh, Off the Record, you have to. I'm pulling up shit. I'm whatever, whatever. I had my shit like laid out, but I'm like pulling stuff up and I'm letting people, you know what I mean? Like it's more interactive. I get it. There's no chat, but it's kind of like streams. Tight track. No, no. What, what I'm trying to say is like I'm, I'm comparing solo episodes of off the record. So 
theoretically, a solo episode of Off the Record, I sit in the studio, there's some bullet points, and I just talk. But I don't think that's dope. You know, I don't think that's dope because what we do on stream. So I'm like, no, I want to be able to Google shit. I want to be able to have the control of the computer. And I get it. It's not live. So it's not like stream, but I'm more comfortable with stream. <laughs> Some people say studio. Chat says studio. Okay, chat queen. I like you this. And this is what I'm about to implement. I'm about to implement a for only for the solo episodes, only for the solo episodes. So it won't be here. This is at my house. Okay. So my house is my, this is actually a music studio slash streaming room. This is a whole like, you know, floor. Should I, my studio, which is, you know, elsewhere, it's pretty much near New York. Should I just do pretty much the same thing or close to this there because i love my studio right and i don't want to get too lazy where i'm just like yo because i want to separate this is my thing i want to separate stream from my podcast this is stream i'm just fucking around my podcast yo i've invested in so much shit in terms of um just motherfucking like you know branding cards mic shit i we just bought i, th I think i spent like 400 500 dollars in just like a bunch of mic um mic things that um you'll see in the next couple of weeks that you'll be able to see it like pretty much i you know I'm, I'm i'm spending money to make sure that the podcast studio um is really up to par we want to be next 